All right, hey everyone, Waterbot here, and welcome to yet another Stellaris series where I do probably a too jokey build for my own good, and I'm just going to go with this. So, as you can tell, the uh, the Stellaris Megacorp expansion is is finally coming out, and it looks pretty rad. And I'm going to give it a go. I'm going to give it a go solo. I was considering contacting Avac again, but I think I'm going to tap him for something else. And also, we got crushed together last time, so I'd prefer not to. I prefer to be good at this game, I think, before I bug anybody about multiplayer again. I might do some kind of, like, uh, fan base thing where every I just pile as many fans as I can into a server and just see who comes out. But I'd, I don't I don't really know if that's going to be... Uh, I don't know if that's going to work. So instead, we're just going to do Capitalism Ho with the Geico Corpor Corporation. Uh, unfortunately, I guess the Geico, the Gecko is, is female, because that's the only way I could get green. But yeah, I was effectively flipping through, uh, uh, leader appearances, and I just ran into this, and I was like, oh my god, this is like the most corporate-looking lizard I've ever seen, and then I realized, oh snap, it's just the Gecko from Geico. Anyway, so, here's the question. What do we do about civics governments and ethics I'm, I'm stuck on this one so let's go down the list so brand loyalty maybe criminal heritage no i don't think so franchising effects of subsidiary subsidiary subject power on relations is reduced by 33 percent impact of branch offices i don't know enough about either of those to really say that free traders might not be a bad idea just extra trade value and branch office value let's see war exhaustion gain Private Prospectors. Gets me a private colony ship. It might be useful, but I don't know. Ruthless Competition. Leader level cap, 1. And EXP gain. That might not be bad. Starbase Capacity, 4. Hmm. And then we have these. So Gospel of the Masses. So that's Spiritualist. No. Indentured Assets? No. Naval Contractors? Maybe. Oh, but we can't get that because we're not militarist. Okay, so let's not do that. So... I think I'm going to go free traders because that seems helpful. And brand... Brand loyalty seems... Appropriate. Like, I am role-playing hard here for no good reason, but I'm doing it anyway. Let's see, so... A big cor uh, a big empire is not going to go well for me, and that's fine. I think I might try and go for like more of a peaceable, peaceable, peaceful round. Okay. Can we? Well, it's a slick corporation. It's d it's definitely slick. Okay. So empire name. I think I already did, but I, I guess not. And let's see, adjective was. Okay. I think I used this on the other one too, but that that's fine. Right, get out of here. Okay. Oh. There we go. This is this is truly the stupidest thing I've done in a long time. I love it. Alright. So what is this you are making? Geico. <laughs> okay, this game is not eligible for achievements. I think I'm fine with that. Two Fallen Empires. Um... I mean, these are probably fine. What do you guys think? Should I change anything? Difficulty Commodore. I'm honestly garbage at this. So Cadet is the easiest. So, Captain? Let's go Captain. Scaling difficulty. I, what is... Eh. I don't think I want to do that. Clusters. Advanced neighbors. On. You off. Let's see. Turn off advanced AI. Starts. Okay. I, I last time I, I did this with a Vax help, and so I'm just kind of like I don't know. Uh, just give me. Uh, let's just go with whatever. <laughs> uh, let's see. So no advanced AI starts up in regular AM. 
mount. Oh, and up the regular AI amount to make up for it. We could do that. We'll do like 11. I'm going to try and be very peaceful here. Like, I'm going to try and be friends with everybody. Oh, I see. That's why I'm not in the center of the webcam. Sorry about that. Let's see. Slayton, sli uh, scaling difficulty is there because the game can get ridiculously easy late game. I'm fine with, with ridiculously easy. I have actually never beaten Stellaris before. And I'm not sure uh, if I'm ever going to be able to. Hyperlane density. What's up that? All right. That works for me. I don't know about abandoned gateways or wormhole pairs. Eh. Let's up them all. Let's make this a uh, a particularly uh, mobile time. Marauder Empires. Hmm. I think that'll be fine. I think this will be okay. So I googled what Geico is. Why are you making this? Because I picked that random leader and I realized, oh my god, this is perfect. Uh, <laughs> I, I will go way out of my way to come up with stupid, stupid gimmicks. I, if you guys remember, the last time I did, uh, I did Stellaris, if any of you guys were here for that, it was, I was playing a robot race with an enslaved, uh, biological population, uh, that I think I was supposed to keep happy or something. Uh, I don't exactly remember, but I, I based that entire faction off of a Vax faction uh, that he had used in a previous playthrough because I thought that would be really funny. And it was, in fact, really funny. So let's get going. I'm going to drink some water. I will go out of my way. Hey, there's a Vax himself. Welcome. I have no idea what I'm doing. <laughs> this is going to be interesting. Okay, so in the uh, eon since the first primitive gecko communities took shape in the dense jungles of Geico headquarters, our civilization has spread and prospered. Oh, this is going to be special. In the early days, our people were governed by primitive feudal realms and an inefficient nation states. Gradually, as global trade increased, the myriad of corporations, consortiums, and guilds into which our merchants organized themselves grew increasingly wealthy and influential. After a period of conflict and rivalry, the most powerful of these entities banded together into a trade league with enough power over the economy to become the de facto world government. Now, after the discovery of the Hyperlane Network, the finest minds of the Geico, uh, finest mine of minds of the Geico have finished development of the first hyperdrives. The stars themselves are finally within our grasp. Okay, so I have some stuff. Uh, bu -bu 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 -bu. I guess honestly, how do we? What is the? What's the button to just go out to the galaxy? It's M or? <laughs> is it M or? Oh, it's E. Okay. No, that's 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 the wrong. Um, construction ship. Well, the sound effects might be a little bit loud. I'm gonna see if we can turn them down. I think all of my sound settings got reset after last time. And honestly, I just want to hear the sweet music. Okay, so that didn't work. Let's get in here, construction ship. Uh, let's start with Zari. And then, yeah, we'll just start with Zari. Okay, uh... Right, we don't have Auto Explore. We do start with Assist Research. That's actually kind of nice. But I should probably take a look at my neighbors anyway. Let's see, so what are we working on? I probably shouldn't be doing anything until we have this. So minerals from miners, 10%. That's not bad. Uh, civilian fabricators. Turns minerals into consumer goods. Hmm. Interesting. Let's go with minerals for from miners first. Uh, let's see. We might want to do hydroponics just for some extra food. Otherwise, off-world trading company. Off-world trading company. Fantastic game, by the way. Uh, let's see. Fusion reactor or physics from researchers. Let's just do with that. Okay. Uh, let's see. What else are we gonna do? Whoa! Hi! Okay, this is- this is new. So we have locked building slot. Oh, that's actually really cool. So they got rid of the planetary stuff. We have a couple of blockers that we're gonna have to worry about. Uh... Oh. Do, can I interact with any of this? Yeah. 
It doesn't look like I can interact with this at all. Oh. I don't... Yeah, I don't even know exactly what I'm looking at here. It's, uh... Huh. Okay, what can I give this? So, we're too poor to afford any of these. Oh, boy. This is... Oh, boy. I think I have the tutorials turned off, too, so this is going to be a problem. Um, well, we're too poor to afford anything. So I'm just going to look at that again later. <laughs> okay. This is this is fine. Uh, let's see, what else do we have? I have... I have it on normal speed, but honestly, I think I'm going to leave it on fastest. I got my military fleet, but they're butts. Oh. Oh, interesting. So you can't explore anymore with military ships. That's That honestly makes sense. Okay. So we have a trade hub. We already have a trade hub. And a shipyard and crew quarters. So I can't even get this even if I wanted to. Oh god, that's a lot more resources than I thought. Okay, so we got a mining station. Probably grab the remaining mining stations. Okay, so we have consumer goods. Is an adv Okay. Is an advanced resource that represents the various gadgets, luxuries, and goods necessary to give your pops a good life and perform intellectual jobs such as research. You can gain more by building civilian and industry buildings and buying more on the market. Alloys are advanced resources with a military application which we need to construct ships and star bases. We can gain more by building alloy foundries. Okay. Then influence, unity, research, extra stuff. Let's see, that's empire size. Doesn't look like there's too much there. Empire systems... Star base capacity. Interesting. I'm going to try and go for a smaller... Maybe? Maybe smaller... Uh, set up. Because I think last time I expanded like crazy, and I don't know if it's a good idea. We'll see. Uh, let's see. Whoa. Oh, no. Oh, they changed this menu. It looks nicer. Now, instead of this being a drop-down, you can kind of see the little icons along the way. I don't, I don't know if that's better, but it looks nice. Resource storage is full. For which? Oh. Okay. What What maxed out? What do you mean resource storage is full? What resource... Am I... Is it food? No. I'm... I, I don't know. Okay. I, I'm mostly just going to be confused by the fact that this is a whole new galaxy point of view everything i forgot to tell him to survey the system didn't i i did well why don't we actually tell him to survey multiple systems in an expanding circle around our entire uh our entire home world um just so we can get kind of a vague sense of what we're up against and honestly, just to give it something to do, because I'm not great at giving things uh, proper orders. Okay, so now that that's going, construction ship, might as well get that science going. And then I can move on to other stuff. Okay, you should check out your policies and species, by the way. Uh, ba -ba 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 -ba. So, remember, I haven't played this game in a very long time, so this might take a little bit of uh, going. Okay, so we've got an election. Huh. Probably looking at edicts. Map the stars. Survey speed. Anomaly discovery chance. That wouldn't be a bad thing. Research grants is pretty good. Let's see. So clear backer stuff. Sensor range. Sublight speed. These are neat. I'm going to turn on map the stars. It might be a little bit wasteful, but I, I think it'll be okay. Okay, and species. I don't know what I can check here, apart from the fact that I have these guys. So, that's fine? Okay. So now I think we just wait. 
I guess the one question would be, what can we make? So, alloy. Turns minerals into alloys. Minerals into consumer goods. Trade value and amenities. Managers turn consumer goods into unity, trade value, and society research. That might not be a bad idea. Unfortunately, yeah, this is going to take a little bit of getting used to. Just trying to figure out all of the new new changes here. Okay, let's just keep going down. I like corporate culture site. Seems like a good idea. Entertainers turn consumer goods into unity and amenities. Luxury residences. Precinct houses. Produce unity, decrease crime, and spawn defense armies. Research labs. Research silos and a stronghold. I think I'm going to get the corporate culture suite. I think that's a good idea. But yeah, I'll learn this as we go along. What is the button to expand? Claims. It only claims... Oh! How do I expand my borders? How did that work? Because I remember there was some kind of border system where you could you could expand by... That's sector's map mode. That's not that helpful. It's been a while. Planets and sectors? You build something with the constructor. Oh, was that it? Yeah, it was Starbase Outpost. That's that's what it was. Was it? Yeah, okay. Okay, so we can have a tradition. Let's pause. Oh. What is this? Relative difficulty routine. I'm assuming this is fine. So an abandoned ship has been left to drill aimlessly, sure. Let's just let's just research it. Ah, uh, let's see. So, what do we want to get in? Mining station output increased by ten percent. It's not a bad idea. I mean, realistically, if I'm if I'm role playing hard as as the Geico, uh, going prosperity seems like my best output. Output? I don't know. It seems like my best setup. Uh, let's see. Buildings and districts have their build costs reduced by ten percent. Build speed increased. Not a bad idea. Otherwise, we could look into you know, actually play the game properly. It really is the question of, do I want to be... a uh, completely... Ooh. Then again, diplomacy for an open... Um, for Empire trade value increased by 10%. That seems... appropriate. Let's see. Anomaly research speed increased. Surface speed increased by 35%. Disengaged chance increased. Not bad. What's the... Oh, let's see. Increases our research speed by 10% and one ascension perk. That's not a bad idea. We don't have a whole lot of diplomacy, so that's not really a thing yet. And I'm probably going to go for a, a tall empire if I can. Because I've always gone... The alternative. It feels like prosperity or discovery are my best two. Let's go discovery early on. I know it's a little bit away from what I'm doing. Okay. Let's see. Unless they brought back scientist deaths via anomalies with a new update. Oh, did they get rid of that? Because that was... <laughs> Part of the reason why I never looked at stuff. Okay, Geico Headquarters has finished its construction queue. Uh, let's see. So we want to take a look at you. Do we do we go to this? This will get us three trade value, sensor range, and energy credits. What is trade value? Where Where is that even shown? I have no idea where trade value is as a resource. It looks like it might be a little bit more esoteric than just these things. So how do we how do we tell? What does it do? Okay. Trade hub, trade value. What? How? What? What is this? Market? Oh, 
Okay, so they got rid of the failure chance. Now it just takes longer. Well, that's nice. I hated that old setup. Uh, it's on planet, I think. That's stability. Trade value. Okay. So... Trade value represents civilian day-to-day -day economic activity. Starbases collect trade value and convert it into resources such as energy credits if connected to your capital planet through a trade route. Trade value that is directly collected by your capital starbase does not need a trade route to generate resources. Okay, so that's exactly what I need to know. I mean, realistically, it seems like my best bet is to some degree to just surround myself in... Let's, let's hold off a little bit. I'd like to pick up a number of these places, but I should probably pick up the good ones. And that one's, that one's okay. And we could get better, probably. Maybe? I don't know. Okay. So we get 112 energy engineering. Cool. And you can change what it, uh, what it gives you on policies. Week, weeks after the insured Casarac's latest fruitful discovery survey, an insurance company for, an insurance company for you xenologists are practically falling over themselves to publish their takes on the finding. That's funny. Okay, so here we go. Peaceful, aggressive, resettlement, allowed, bombardment, war philosophy, defensive wars. Huh. I wonder what changing these works. So, increased... Oh, that's neat. And yeah, we'll keep dietary balance until we have more... Order status, open closed, first contact, peaceful, that's fine. Mixed economy. So civilian gets us more consumer goods, but less alloys. And then vice versa. It seems like going mixed is probably the best idea. Okay, so we can make it so trade value gets us just energy credits. Energy credits and consumer goods. Or... Half energy credits and also a little bit of unity. Huh. That's actually kind of neat. I don't know if we need it. But if I go with a small empire, it might not, might, might not be a bad idea to get marketplace of ideas just so I can... Mm, what if I do this? What does that change it to? Oh. No. Ah, I really wish I could tell... Okay. Trade goods. I'm getting 53. So that would translate, that'd be, we'd only get 26. So we'd still have enough energy credits. And that would give us about 10 more unity. That's not a bad idea. Robotic workers, population control, slavery, purge. Okay, so I'm going to look at those later. If... If I manage to stay on top of my energy credits, it might not be a bad idea to actually grab that. Gain a level, so he's got research speed, and... Okay, that's good. Yeah, each trade value is a 1 to 1 to energy credits. Yeah, and that's... I think that's fine for me right now. Uh, but later on, it might actually be worth it for me to try something else. Other, other things? I don't know. Okay, so what can we do? We... I mean, effectively, I think we just wait for population. Oh, no, that's his EXP. How do we see pop growth? I guess I'm just going to keep researching these. Um, but in, you know, that's city districts. I guess this would be a population. So, growing. Gecko, we've got... Current population is 29. Oh, so we're actually pretty close. Available housing 6. From buildings, districts... Okay, hold on. Life pod... So we get some research there. How do we see pop cap versus available population? Because it says 29, and this is planet size 20? Oh, wow. Get one of these already. Okay, what's this one? Pops are working with research. Have their upcrease reduced by 20%? That's... That's handy. I feel like going with to boldly go early on might be helpful. Eh. No, 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 let's go for the research alternatives. That'll be more helpful. Uh, 
Let's see. I see no point in changing war policy until you meet a pacifist, though. Oh. Huh. I... I ha I just haven't played enough Stellaris to, like, even learn half of these things. Okay, so at 30 pops, it'll get us an extra population slot, but how do we know what the maximum is? Because planetary size 20, but that doesn't involve populations anymore. Uh... Ruler jobs, worker jobs... It says jobs, jobs. I guess I'm just gonna let it do whatever until we figure it out. <laughs> I don't know. I mean, it doesn't doesn't matter to me that much. All right now, uh, how's research doing? Some degree, I'd like to. Uh, it would be nice if I could actually see, just like little meters for all three of these, just in case. Okay, well that's fine. And judging judging by my immediate findings on these planets, I'm gonna I'm gonna go build a one of the bases on this one. We can grab it. It'll cost me a little bit of alloys, a little bit of influence, but that's fine. But yeah, this one of uh, gets us trade value of minerals and energy credits, whereas all the other ones just give like one or two. Not so great. Huh. Yeah, the camera moving around is just a little stuttery. The frame rate ain't bad. But it is... Yeah, yeah. Yeah, why is it just a bit stuttery? I don't know. Whatever. Not a big deal. It's not like I have to move her. Ow. We are just jamming through this real quick. Okay, so leader experience gain. Increased by 25%. Yeah, we are just trucking up the, uh... The unity. I like that. Let's see. Pop and food consumption reduced by 10%. Or pop food consumption. I want to look at some of these. So the leader lifespan increased by 20 years is actually pretty good. Hello. Uh, ooh. Ooh, three minerals to heart three. That's good. Yeah, this this new DLC expansion, whatever, is going to make this game a lot more complicated. Unfortunately, it's kind of one of those where I'd almost just re recommend, if anybody else wants to pick this game up, I'd probably still recommend uh, getting the DLC. Even if it's more complicated, it's kind of one of those where, like... Uh, the alternative is le learning the old system and then being extremely confused. Okay, while we're here, might as well build the mining station. I've got a lot of resources. Now that's not a star base, so I can actually just expand as much as I want, now that I'm looking at it. This one... will take a while. Let's leave that alone. We'll come back to that one in a little bit. I'm sorry I, like, kind of do this. I, 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 when I think, I actually do stroke my, like, beard and mustache and stuff. Or I just kind of do this or, like, any number of things. I, I have some weird tics that I'm not really, I, I never even knew about until I got to, I guess, this point. Uh, let's see, capacity overload. That's not bad. Let's get the research speed five five percent. That seems immediately helpful. Wait, the new system is getting bit added by Leguin, not Megacorp. Oh, so Megacorp just adds the Megacorp faction. Well, in that case, I guess you're all y'all are stuck with this. That's probably for the best. I'm gonna just build a couple outposts. Um, are there limits to how much you can expand? I know, I know there is for, like, star-based capacity and planets, but what's the empire size limitations? Like, what, what messes that up? Because I remember this was something kind of important when I was playing with, uh, when I was playing with a vac, that he didn't expand nearly as much as I did, uh, and it actually screwed him over at least for a little while. Ah, uh, let's see. Minerals from jobs. That's not a bad idea. Otherwise, mineral... Okay, it's just your influence. There's no hard limit. That's good. So... Production targets might not be a bad idea. Otherwise, this just gets us more minor jobs. Well, that gets us a new structure. Otherwise, we could just get extra minerals from the jobs.
Well, we don't want the Corvette hull. I guess I'm gonna go with the passive, passive one, early. Yeah, let's just go with the passive one, quick. Okay, so there's something about influence cap. I guess we'll we'll figure it out as we go along. I I don't know. I I know there are debuffs. I just don't know where the debuffs are listed. Uh, but if it's not a big deal, then I'm just probably going to. Actually, let's let's. Nope, too late. Whatever. Grab these. Faith in science. Okay, that's that's an easy one. So pops working with research have their upkeep reduced by twenty percent. That'll be nice. Uh, what else can I do at the Geico headquarters? So it looks like I can just buy all of these buildings. There's no. You might be able to upgrade them. I don't see if you can. It looks like there's a downgrade and demolish, so maybe you can upgrade them as we go along. Okay. So what do we get? What's important for us? Luxury residences have a higher upkeep. They get extra housing and extra amenities. We could get more research. What is the drain consumed? Jobs and pops. Okay, so that's important. We might have to worry about getting more con uh, consumer goods at some point. And these are silos and... What do we do? Trade value and amenities. It'd be interesting to go full-on trade value and see if I can loop that back around into other stuff. Why don't we do research labs? Pricey, but it's going to probably be more helpful than anything else I immediately have. Because the more tech we can get, the better off we're going to be. Let's see, how did you get the update so early? Yeah, I got a, I, I, as a YouTuber, streamer, whatever, I get pre press access to things a little, a little early. I think the, uh, the embargo dropped yesterday, I think it was. Okay, Athriga is inhabited and just gets me some engineering. I'm not going to read the, uh, the flavor text. I like it. Oh, it has unemployed populations that could be put to work. How do I determine this? Do we just not have enough jobs? What have I done? Oh, I opened this up. So we don't have any more job slots for the amount of people that I have. Is that, is that what's going on? I think that's what's going on. So I have two rulers, nine specialists, 20 workers, and we're unemployed. Okay. Well, hopefully research research labs will solve my problems. That's that's easy peasy. We got some more here. Monthly unity plus two. That sounds really good. Otherwise, pop growth speed. Oh, those both sound amazing, actually. I like the influence, especially while our, our empire is small. Yeah, let's go influence. Let's see, you should have a few areas you can clear to make more distant districts. Oh, there we go. This that's why it's hurting my ears. I've got uh, cloth pads, but they've moved out of out of place. I'm wondering about that. I'm still cold. I guess the extra pressure from the hat isn't helping. I guess I could always just go headphoneless, but that'd be weird. I gotta find more comfortable light headphones. Okay, so commendable initiative. Oh. We now know that without a doubt that a thriving biosphere is not something unique to Geico headquarters. Both the scientific community and the public at large are eager to learn more about them. Efforts to catalog the life forms we encounter are already underway, but our xenobiologists have urged us to focus our planetary survey efforts on habitable life-bearing worlds. Sure. Otherwise I could just get more influence, but you know what? Nah. Okay, so why don't we build the mining stations? Let's see, we've got alloys. I guess we might as well just build star bases on a couple of those, or outposts or whatever. This is fine. See, as materialist geckos, you probably want the cyborg route instead. 
Yeah, probably. Okay, so I have some areas I can clear out. Oh, so I do. Cost me some energy credits, but I've got plenty. Okay, so this will give me some more space to build things. So that just increases the maximum number of districts. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, I'm still learning how like 90% of this works because it's, it's all space French to me. Uh, I, I miss the old visual representation, but at the same time, I think this is better. It'll just take a lot more getting used to. I will admit I do miss the old Master of Orion 2 system where you just had like a bunch of buildings before you on a planet and just like a build list. That was kind of nice. I missed that. Unfortunately, Masters of Orion or Master of Orion 3 and 4 are both garbage. So, oh well. I mean, I guess 4 wasn't terrible. It was just boring. They didn't add anything new to the mix. They just made it prettier. And then like nickel and dimed you for everything, which I just wasn't keen on. I didn't like that that much. Okay. So we need more consumer goods. But we gotta wait until we get to population 35. I figured we'd be running into limitations on that one pretty quick. It's probably all getting turned into science. Now that I'm thinking about it, but that's, that's fine. Science is good. Science is important. Okay. You probably want to go up to Tibby. We seem to be doing fine on alloys. I might actually... Why don't we... Why don't we go here? Why don't we shipyard up another construction ship just to have a spare one wandering around? It's tempting to get another science ship. But honestly, I think our current guy is doing fine. Let's see. Can you click on the district button to make things? Ye maybe. Mm, yes? It looks like I can build another one. So what do city districts have? Higher upkeep, but it produces trade value and clerks? So how do city districts exactly work? Like, throw out tutorial information for me because I think I just turned them off. Um, I don't, I don't mind. So that's an upkeep, but that requires a new type of tech that I don't have. Let's just turn on, let's grab that one so we can get automatic uh, exploration. Okay, so let's go get the mining stations. Uh, and let's just keep expanding here. Well, we still have some influence. Uh, do we want to go to that one? Yeah. Yeah, minerals, minerals are important. Okay, Geico HQ. Nope, that's fine. Okay, city districts is a population up. Cool. Okay, so what else do we have? Civilian fabricators. It, oh no, that requires resources that I don't have access to yet. Let's just increase our research speed for the time being. That's a good cop out for a little while. Okay, you. So we have new district. It doesn't actually provide new building slots, though. What are these districts? Two out of nine agricultural districts. So... Ten districts built. Oh, I see. So... I can build different districts freely. One out of six built. Total built. So I wonder if I build one of these, if it's going to lock off one of the other ones. Well, do we want to get a mining jobs, power jobs, or food jobs? Let's go food. We're actually running low on food. So we'll start that next. Because, yeah, that's not... That's not much. This is a cool system, though. I'm looking forward to seeing what kind of, like, crazy depth you can get into. 
But yeah, I figure we'll, we'll try making an agricultural one, and then we'll see what I can do with the rest of it. Uh, let's see, so... What does the 5 out of 14 mean? That... That's how many more I can make? How many city districts I can make? I, I'm not sh I'll have to figure that one out. So, leader pool size, hydroponics farm, and hydroponics bay. The problem is I don't have a whole lot of space for that. You go with leader, pool size, and cost, preemptively? Because the other ones, I, yeah, we'll just go with that. 